decision analysis. When we're making decisions, especially on a day-to-day -day basis or a short-term basis, a lot of times we want to look at our two options and look at the differential cost between them. In other words, what changes? So in this particular instance, I want to take a look at, uh, I have two choices. I can, uh, in this particular problem, which is short exercise two in the chapter, we're basically deciding uh, which new postage machine we're going to buy. Are we going to buy the postage machine made by Posen, or are we going to buy the postage machine uh, by Value A? So we're going to look at the differential. Now if I take the postage machine from Posen, it is going to generate $43,200 of revenue versus the other company is going to generate $49,300. So when I'm looking at differential analysis, and in this particular problem, it says find the difference in favor of the value A uh, machine. So we're going to always subtract Posen from value A. So 49,300 minus 43,200 means the differential in favor of value A is $6,100. So more revenue will be generated. But what about the cost? Well, if I use the the Posen machine, direct material costs are $12,200. If I use the other machine, the favored machine, they're also $12,200. So do we have any differential? No. So there's no difference, no differential cost. Well, what about direct labor? Direct labor for the Posen machine is $10,200 per period and the value A is going to cost us $10,600. So notice this machine is going to cost us more, so the differential is a negative $400 for labor. For variable overhead, the problem states that variable overhead is $24,500 for the Posen machine and at $26,900 for the value A. So again, does it cost us more to use the uh, value A machine? Yes, it does. And the amount is $2,400. So notice these are negatives. Finally, fixed overhead is $12,400 for both. So tell me, is there a differential cost? No. So irrelevant to the decision at hand. So let's see what the change in operating income is, revenue minus expense, in favor of the value A machine. So notice it has $6,100 additional revenue coming in, or the incremental revenue, and it has costs going out of $2,800. So overall, why do we favor the value A machine? It's because its net is $3,300. So this is how you would approach differential or incremental decision analysis on what costs are relevant to the decision at hand. And it's only the costs that what? Change. And only the revenue that changes too, right?